This video, we're going to talk about Bleach Thousand Year Blood War, Episode 9. Yeah, you can cheer about that. But, um, uh, well, we're going to break this episode down, alright? So keep on watching. This episode has, um, quite a, um, quite a really disturbing side story. I'm going to explain it as I go along, right? So first order of business, the thumbnail. This... Uh, this particular scene came about when, well, came about uh, the time Kenpachi started spacing out and and after uh, he snaps out of it. It was, yeah, it was, it was quite a disturbing uh, battle scene. Nonetheless, this thumbnail is disturbing, okay? I would be... I would be a complete idiot if I don't make this a thumbnail. <laughs> Considering the disturbing nature of Bleach, the violent nature of this anime franchise. You know. So with that in mind, well, let's get on with, uh, with the nitty gritty of this episode. Face! Three words, guys. Slow and excruciating. When it came to the second half of the episode, don't... Uh, ito, nung nagsimula na yung battle scene between Kenpachi and Yachiru yung kinukonsider niyang idol so wow okay? that's when that's uh, when the excruciating parts came in first half of the episode puro coming element <laughs> kasi um, uh, if you see the episode already talagang medyo matatawa ka sa Sa, sa mga eksena yun, during the first half of the episode where yun nga, sila Ichigo tsaka si Renji na uh, wow may kung normal na tao yun, wala na yung patso na yun <laughs> do I have complaints guys? no! alright? it was um it was slow and funny when it needed to be it was slow and absolutely excruciating when it wanted to be, when it, when it needed to be. So, talagang binalansin ng piro ang, ang pacing ng episode na to. Alright, I tell you. Right? Pacing was, uh, uh, was well, at the very least, tolerable. Okay? If, you're, if you're new to Bleach, you would totally get the uh, you would totally get the overall storyline of this episode because of the pacing. Flow naman! First gear shift here was well the opening scene when Jiro was appointed as the new head captain. For me it's a no-brainer. Because this one triggered the side story. For me it's a no-brainer of a gear shift. Second gear shift was when Renji realized uh, Kirio's true purpose in feeding them. I don't know, man. Feast would be an understatement. Ang dami pagkain eh. For me, this is a character development gear shift for... Yeah, for Renji na lang. Okay? Dito na nilabas ni Renji yung utak niya. Bilang, bilang captain. We all, we all know he's a squad captain now. Okay? Pero hindi pa rin na nawawala yung... Uh, ano dito? Yung yung girihan nila ni Ichigo eh. <laughs> Does this prove that uh, uh, Renji is still relevant in the storyline of Bleach? Absolutely. Can he still be a valuable ally to Ichigo? Absolutely. This gearship proves that. Final gearship was when Kenpachi yun, the moment Kenpachi spaced out. For me, this is a gearship. Kasi, parang, oh, Siguro in all his years now as uh, as a squad captain, nagkaroon siya ng konsensya. Right? I feel that his conscience is already talking to him right here. Kasi yung mismong uh, yung mismong idol niya ang, ang kumakalaman sa kanya ngayon. Uh, a show of weakness? Probably. A show of um so this tentativeness absolutely. Rin. Pero if you would 
Uh, if you would, uh, if you would flip that coin, uh, can Pachi show this human side here? Right? Despite him being a ruthless captain, and wow, talagang, it just goes to show you guys, can Pachi also has a, has a, has a conscience. And pinakita niya rito sa gearship na to. So, these three gearships that I saw, no, no can do. Do not watch these three gear ships all by themselves. Right? Watch the whole episode because the side story is um uh, is uh, it's as well it's relevant as fuck while uh, while Ichigo and Renji were going through their own um going through their own Odyssey in uh against Squad Zero. It would be unwise for you to just watch these three gear ships. Okay? That's my power tip for you guys. Plot lines. Flat out. Planchado ang plot, guys. That's it. You gotta have a uh, a very convincing, uh, no, not, not, not convincing, a very profound side story to, um, to be deemed a plot as well ironed out. Okay? The side story that was featured in this episode, yeah, may implications ito. If Kempachi uh, wins his exam, he will be given more uh, more sword fighting techniques to use it on the battlefield. Just in case the Quincy's attack again. We really needed that side story. So while uh, while Ichigo and Renji and, and the rest of the, um, the injured, uh, the injured captains are going, are going through this, uh, this training system by Squad Zero, this was happening, right? Probably the most relevant side story in, in the Thousand Year Blood War arc so far, okay? Do not cut this side story out, guys, okay? May implications ito. And sa tingin, sa tingin ko talaga malaking implications ito down the line in the uh, in the uh, in this reunion season of news. So hats off to Studio Pero for giving us a well hired outfit. Talaga buong pinlancha ng buong pinlancha ng matiin nito eh. Just to give us a a very vivid picture of what is happening so far uh, in the. Uh, uh, in this arc of Bleach. So, base flow and plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. But I just realized that Kanpachi is human. So, Bleach Thousand Year Blood War, episode 9. The calling element saved it. Two thumbs up! It it feels rather good if um if a uh, if a minor character no like, yeah if a uh, if a supporting character uh gives it has been given his own exposure in a particular episode that side story lang right uh Bleach is no different to that okay? Bleach is not immune to that say we all know Kenpachi is a Kenpachi is a factor. Because he is one of the captains right now, 13 court guards. He's one of the captains. And personal siyang ititrain ng bagong head captain on uh, ng, ng, ng isa pang sword fighting technique na bilanggit dito. So, will he play? Uh, will he will he play a big role down the line in in the thousand year blood war arc? Probably. Lalo na pag bumalik na sila, pag, bum, pag bumalik na si Ichigo. So, yeah. They, they, they will need all the help they can get. Just in case the Quincy's come back. Just in case Yua come, comes back. So, we'll just have to wait for the next episode, guys. And in the meantime, watch the next review.